you for choosing Northern Westchester Hospital for your upcoming surgery. Here at Northern Westchester Hospital, we pride ourselves in combining innovative surgical techniques with evidence-based practice to provide you, our patient, the very best care. Today we want to talk to you about a groundbreaking surgical recovery approach called ERAS, or Enhanced Recovery After Surgery. ERAS is a program designed to reduce the amount of stress that surgery causes to your body so that recovery is easier and less painful. Research has proven that surgical patients on the ERAS pathway have fewer complications. By following the ERAS guidelines, we are able to speed up your recovery time, reduce the use of narcotic pain medications, and avoid complications that might otherwise make your hospital stay longer. In this video, we're going to walk you through the key steps of your ERAS journey, both at home, on the day of surgery, and during your post-op recovery. We strongly encourage you to watch this video with your family or caregiver to ensure that they are actively participating in both your surgery and your recovery. Don't worry if you don't remember everything the first time. You can always watch this video again by visiting our website. Your ERAS journey begins at home in the days leading up to your surgery and involves planning and preparing, much like training for a marathon. Following a conditioning routine at home will prepare your body for a swift recovery. Let's look at the things that come into play when we're talking about conditioning your body for recovery. First, let's discuss smoking. Smoking greatly increases your risk of complications from surgery. If you haven't quit smoking yet, you need to make sure you stop at least seven days before your surgery. This includes vaporizers and e-cigarettes. Leading up to your surgery, it's important that you do your best to maintain or even increase your daily activity. If you can, add a simple exercise routine, like a 30-minute walk every other day. Strengthening your body with exercise is one of the most important things you can do to prepare for surgery, because healing happens faster when you're in good shape. A week before your procedure, you should stop taking any blood thinning medications. These include Advil, Aleve, Motrin, or Ibuprofen. If you're taking aspirin or blood thinners, please check with your doctor to see if or when you should stop taking those. On the day of your surgery, you should drink 16 ounces of apple juice or Gatorade as you are leaving for the hospital. If you have diabetes, please look for a sugar-free version of either Gatorade G2 or Powerade Zero. Prior to the day of your surgery, one of the nurses will be contacting you to discuss your medical history, your current medications, and to remind you to drink your 16 ounces of Gatorade or apple juice the morning of surgery. The day of your surgery is here. When you arrive at the ambulatory surgery center, the preoperative nursing team will help you prepare for your surgery. After the nurses have settled you into your preoperative room, you'll meet the additional members of your ERAS team. This includes your anesthesiologist and your surgeon. You will have a chance to ask any questions. We encourage you to ask. Your care team has designed a comprehensive pain management plan that is designed to keep you comfortable and prevent nausea before, during, and after surgery. Depending on the type of surgery you are having, your anesthesiologist may give you an injection, which we call a nerve block. This will numb the surgical area using a non-narcotic pain medicine. The nerve block supports the goals of the ERAS program by reducing the use of narcotic pain medicines to improve your recovery. The next stop of your ERAS journey is the operating room. The good news here is you don't have to do anything. The surgery is not any different because you're a patient on the ERAS program, but the process of caring for you during surgery has some small differences that you may be interested in. In the OR, while you're asleep with the anesthesia medication, you'll receive additional non-narcotic long-acting pain medicine. This medicine, combined with your nerve block, is part of your pain management plan. It will not completely remove your pain, but it will greatly reduce your pain and the need for stronger pain medication after surgery. After your surgery, you'll wake up in our post-anesthesia care unit, or PACU sometimes known as the recovery room. In the recovery room, your nurse will closely monitor your vital signs and your surgical incision. We provide a calm and soothing environment, playing soft music and using warm blankets to keep you comfortable. We offer free holistic treatments, such as aromatherapy, that can help with some of your symptoms. To treat pain, ERAS patients are given medications by mouth to minimize the need for intravenous medications. The medications are carefully timed and tailored to the type of surgery that you've had. We have multiple methods of decreasing pain and we'll work with you to provide the best treatment to help you. Key part of ERAS is early movement after surgery. We call this early ambulation. In the recovery room, some ERAS patients are encouraged to take a brief walk around the unit. When you're ready to begin walking, your nurse will assist you. 
Even if you can't walk, having the nurse assist you to move in the bed, turning from lying on your back to lying on your side may also help decrease abdominal bloating. If you've had an orthopedic procedure, a physical therapist will visit you later that day to start movement exercises. Once your pain has decreased and your movement has increased, you are ready to be discharged from the recovery room to your hospital room. Depending on the type of surgery you've had, you may stay at the hospital for a few hours or a few days. When you arrive in your hospital room, the nursing staff will continue to encourage you to move, having you walk from the stretcher to the bed. Another part of your recovery is using a device called the incentive spirometer. It's designed to exercise and expand your lungs to improve oxygenation. It might seem complicated, but it's as easy as a child's game. Your nurse will help you do this. Your comprehensive pain management plan remains in place when you're admitted to the hospital room, and you'll receive scheduled oral medications to treat and prevent pain. However, if your pain increases, you can always ask for more medication as needed. Northern Westchester prides itself on our motto, food is care. Therefore, we will be looking to order you a light meal as soon as you feel well enough to eat. The more you're able to do after your surgery, like walk, eat, and drink, the faster your recovery will be and the sooner you'll go home. So now is the moment that you've been waiting for. You get to leave the hospital. Before leaving the hospital, you will have the opportunity to meet with members of your care team to ensure you understand what medicines you should be taking and when. You will receive discharge instructions, which include how to follow up with your surgeon and your primary care doctor. Once you're home, your recovery changes very little being on the ERAS program. But now is the time to start thinking about what you might need for an easy transition to home. For example, if you have stairs, you might consider sleeping downstairs for the first few nights if possible. You may also need to have medications like Tylenol and Motrin on hand. At Northern Westchester Hospital, we're excited to provide the ERAS program, moving your medical care into the future. Working with you as a team and harnessing the incredible healing powers of your body, we are speeding up recovery times and improving overall pain management while decreasing the use of strong narcotic pain medications which can delay recovery. Getting you home and back to the people and activities you love is our primary goal. We look forward to working together so that as a team, your recovery will be a success. If you have any questions about the ERAS program, please check with your surgeon or a nurse from your care team. Additional information, answers to common questions, and a pre-surgery checklist can be found on our website, nwhc.net slash preop.